Hello, welcome to Tully River Quail. Uh, I just wanted to show you what I believe is coccidiosis. Um, look at this guy here in the front. Now this is a day after treatment. You can see his eyes are... He likes to close them. Look how ruffled he is. Um, look at the other guys in the back. How they're kind of normal. Look inactive. Like I said, this is a day after the treatment has started. So he's moving around a little bit better and eating now. So what I've done is I've treated two tablespoons per gallon of water with Corid and I'm sorry, teaspoons, not tablespoons. And then I put it in little individual drinkers. Plus I did treat the whole system, my um, water system that's in the back because I'm going to treat the whole flock. But just to make sure, I make sure that this guy's drinking. Um, I can see in the other cages because it is a contagious disease just by the dust and stuff you know it could be that some of these guys with the ruffled feathers the droopy wings um, may have an infection but the way you can really tell is look at the difference in the poop now, I just cleaned this poop tray but so it's like a white sticky diarrhea compared to little poop bubbles. <laughs> so if you start to notice some poop difference, if it's not hard and starts to get a little wet and sticky, like you can, some of this might be just because I put water in there from here. But anyway, there's the difference. Ruffled feathers, lethargic, doesn't want to eat, doesn't want to move. Like I said, this is after one day. You'll treat him for uh, five days with this concentration, and then you back him off for another couple days. Uh, a lot of information out there about what concentration to do. Make sure you change this cord every day. So make a new batch every day. But like I said, yesterday when I left him last night, when I first noticed this, he would stay up here in this front corner and just sleep. He wasn't doing anything. I took him out and put him on the ground out here. He wouldn't even run from me when I tried to catch him. So, All right, folks, hope that helps you. Tolly River Quail. See, I have individual little drinkers that I've been swapping out. I don't have enough to do every cage, so I swap them out and make sure that some of these guys are at least getting some of this. But that guy's the only one. Alright, Tully River Quail, over and out, stay free.